Hi everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. This is video number two focusing on the XL800. This is basically the finished product. Uh, I thought about buying a bar stencil and redoing the bar. I may still do that later on down the road, but I'll wait until I've got an order, order worthy of submitting. So, got the new air filter cover that came in from a kind seller uh, on eBay. He's out of the Midwest, has a phenomenal selection of parts. This is an XL800 uh, as it's badged, and it's a very early saw. Normally, these had a manual and automatic oiler. This one only has the automatic. It's not even drilled for the oil pump cylinder that would normally mount right in here. These marks here and on the other side of the saw would be drilled, have a bushing, and there was a, a rod that ran through there with a little cam, like on the XL700, that would actuate the oiler from a thumb button over here. Later 925s just put the cylinder vertical thumb button. This has none of that, so it's an automatic only, automatic oiler only, and that just makes it a very early saw because most of them would have been what was referred to as an XL XL 800 AM, which stood for automatic manual. So anyway, this is a a fairly unique saw. I haven't seen too many uh, like that. Pretty clean, you know, the paint is chipped in a few places, obviously. Uh, the biggest flaw in this, and the reason it quit being used, was there's a leak in the oil tank. And these were originally an epoxied together setup, so when I have enough to justify buying a quart of red coat, I'll probably just go ahead and reseal the tank, but since this thing is going on the shelf, it's going to get drained and dried out anyway so anyhow pretty nice example of an XL800 chainsaw